Lacpasi Community District Number Nine, Montserrado County, a district which lost its lawmaker on the 8th of July 2020. The late Honorable Muna E. Colonel Youngblood lost the battle in Accra, Ghana, and was buried on the 12th of August 2020. Today is her birthday, and the Penham and Youngblood families. They are celebrating her 27th, that's her 37th birth anniversary as well. From here, they're marching to her residence where the family of the late Honorable, they are gathered as well to celebrate her legacy. We come into you from La Passe, a part of District Number 9, Montserrado County. Also forming part of this celebration is another person who has been tipped to be an aspirant in the ensuing by election for this district, Frank Sa Foko. <laughs> So you can see the young, the old, everybody gathering, forming part of this march here to the residence of the late Honorable Muna Pena Youngblood. Residence of the late Honorable 
own a kind of young blood. This celebration organized by her family and that of um, her former confidant, someone who served her office prior to her passing. And they're saying, along with the residents of District Number Nine, this is their way of remembering what they've termed as someone who served this district tirelessly. This is a part of a district that was shot on the 8th of July by the news of the passing of the late Honorable Mona Pena Youngblood. The district is still mourning, as you can see, but they're still remembering the legacy of their late lawmaker. Residents of district number nine as well, bystanders, they are looking. The late Honorable was buried on the 12th of August. She was born on September 22nd today, 1983, and she passed away on August 8th, July 8th, 2020. So an official program will be held today as well to honor the memory of the late Honorable, organized by her family members, constituents, and residents of District Number 9. Yeah, yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you. You see the older women forming part of this as well. District number nine remembers. This march is headed to the residence of the late Honorable, where her family members are gathered as well. And um, they will then have an official ceremony to remember the late Honorable on today, her 37th birthday.
is her 37th birthday. Though gone, but the same gone, but not forgotten. way to the residence of the late Honorable. Had she been alive according to one of such persons spoken to, they said this would have been a joyous day. But whatever it is, they still are celebrating the birthday of their matriarch, someone who they said took this district from one level to another. Her lust was termed as a national tragedy by most of those who were given their tribute. So this is September 22nd, the birthday of the late Honorable. Still being remembered. The crowd now making their way to her residence, where her family, they're currently residing. Um, and every other day that followed till the burial of the late Honorable, 
this place was flooded with sympathizers. But today they are here in a more joyous mood to celebrate the birthday of the fallen lawmaker. The young, the old, and everyone alike. She's not forgotten. Say, oh, her legacy will live on. Say, Manda, Manda, oh, our grandma don't worry. We we'll stand with you until death do our part. Say, oh, the Pedro family don't worry. We we'll stay with you. Say. Gentlemen, friends, as we have come here today, our leader, our sister, left. But the role she played in our lives in the district, we will never sit back to allow those things to go in vain. So today is her birthday, and we have come to celebrate her birthday with the family. As we have already been keeping them in prayer, we will always be with them as family. So before we take our tour in the district this morning, and later on climbers at the Lakwasi Palawa Hut, we're going to sing the birthday song here now. Oh, Start the birthday song.
music. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. May God bless her. Come on. 